Big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's episode of By Release. I've lost that toy you gave me. What am I gonna play with now? Literally anything. You're a monkey. You can swing around and shoot. Is that the end of the dialogue? The monkey child begins to cry. The monkey child is too busy crying. Did I just break everything? I need a gree gree. Kevin, why is he not giving me another one? Uh, you gotta give him some time, man. He needs time? He's a baby. He's got no concept of what that even means. Auntie gave me a new toy. Wow, can I borrow it? Only if you promise to give it back. Okay, I promise. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? I'm the worst person I know. No, no, no. Go back and tell him you lost it, even though you haven't your hand. Why? In case you want another one for free. He's just crying again. Now you walk off. You should have known. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, you're fooling a baby monkey and you should go to jail. I'm gonna carry that weight on my shoulders forever, but let's go run through this tunnel. Zooknock, what's up, man? I got some more dead monkey parts for you. He just starts salivating. God damn, I look good. I've got a Kimbo monkey swords. The new meta from here on out. I'm about to talk to King Awoa guy. I don't know any of Kruk's mannerisms or what he acts like, so I'm sure this is gonna go real well for me. He's asking me about plans. I'm gonna have to finesse my way out of this one. You seem very distracted. Yeah, well, I'm a monkey with two swords. I am a walking distraction. My life is never boring. I have a lot of things going on in my head. A three-way assault, working with the ogres and trolls, a new fleet of battleships, and a secret weapon. How's progress coming along? Uh, I'm still working on it. I like how he's just okay with a simple answer like that. How goes the progress on planning the biggest assault in the history of living things on this planet ever? I don't know. Still doing stuff for it, I guess. All right. Hey, Garkor, it's me, Kruk. I wonder if Garkor shits his pants every time I turn the corner. Just seeing a monkey with no way of knowing it's me until I'm within murder distance. This dude is living in constant fear. So I've got to convince the trolls and ogres not to ally with the monkey somehow. And with those guys, the only option is brute force and violence. So it's time to get wacky in a crazy sort of way. First up, troll stronghold. So I guess this is the guy, Cobb. Apparently he's calling the shots here. So let's go see what he has to say. All right. So I just told Cobb I'm going to actually kill him if he helps the monkeys out. So we're settling this with a death match. Unfortunately for him, he's fucking huge and I'm not. So I'm going to just, uh, you know, and he's surrendering. Well, we win and he's not going to help the monkeys anymore. So that's good. He just disappeared. He could be anywhere. I'm going to leave now. Up next, we got the ogres. I'm going to make my way through the bridges to get to the boss. If you want to cross here, you must pay me 20 gold pieces first. Why? What if I just jump over? He's not going to follow me. I didn't bring 20 gold. He sometimes doesn't ask for this, though. Okay, has that actually ever happened to you where he didn't ask for it? Or Yeah, no, you should keep trying. <laughs> I don't think he's ever not asked for it. Oh, uh, dude, he's not going to ask for it. He keeps asking for it. He's going to give up eventually. They're very lazy. All right, check this out. Open the range menu. Now close it and then instantly click the, the jump. Oh, it was too slow. Oh my god. Where do I even dude. click? What the fuck? <laughs> that is such a weird click box. You gotta flick to it, man. I flick too hard. <laughs> All right, 800 DPI. I got this. Hold on. Oh yeah, that was one tick, but he's uh, he's, he's still asking for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm entirely fucking with you. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go to Castle Wars and get my 20 GP now. <laughs> okay, I'll pay it. What a prick. Okay, who named the Chief Keef? This is pretty much the same deal. I told him if he helps the monkeys, I, I kill him right here in front of his friends. Another death match it is. He's also very big, but I can't really explain this one. I, I don't really know why he doesn't uh, attack me. I'm pretty sure you could just straight up face tank him and you wouldn't die. This guy can hit like 47s though. What? Yeah. I didn't know that. I've safe spotted him every time. I know. <laughs> Everyone has. Nobody has fought this guy face. You know what? Fuck it. Here I go. Okay, you're still fine. Oh, he hit the 47. Oh my God. Oh my God, he hit the 47. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so we proved that he could actually hit the 47. You might be the first person in history to get 47 by this guy, honestly. <laughs> like genuinely, no one has ever been hit by this guy. The only other person who's been hit a 47 is somebody who was first doing this quest and didn't have time to run to the safe spot. <laughs> well, the ogres aren't helping the monkeys anymore. It's called being a hero. Let's go check in with Garkor. Now that I destroyed the alliances, I need to see what's up with the battleships. Garkor said there's nothing at the shipyard from the last quest, so we've got no leads. But that Le Smith balloon pilot guy was spotted earlier somewhere in town, so we gotta go find him and get some info in our crook disguise. I've already checked some houses. He could be anywhere, but he could also be here. And he is! There he is, Le Smith, the defector pilot dickhead. Yeah, he's working with Galuff. I'm acting like I know all about it. I'm twisting it on him. How do I know he can be trusted if he's as committed as me and Galuff? Just lay out every detail of the plan. So, update. He's revealed that the battleships are not, in fact, ships, like boats. They are air 
airships. They've got fucking planes. There's a big difference there because one is limited to bodies of water and the other is limited uh, to nothing. It can go fucking anywhere. So that's a concern for us. Yeah, reporting back to Garkor. Would you believe me if I have been given the task of single-handedly taking out an entire fleet of battle airplanes? That's right, folks. We've arrived at arguably the most notorious part of Monkey Madness 2, the airship platform. This airship construction platform is off the coast of Ape Atoll. I'll have to get there somehow and then find a way to destroy the entire thing. So here's the plan. These airships are being built for war. So there's obviously an abundance of gunpowder there. And for whatever reason, a surplus of satchels to put said gunpowder in. When I get to the platform, I have to make my way to the satchels, fill them up at the gunpowder supply on a different floor, and then plant explosives in six different locations that are considered weak points of the structure. And the goofy, silly, fun part of that whole thing is uh, nothing to do with any of what I just said. The biggest concern of mine is the monkeys patrolling the platform. You cannot be seen at all. This is a textbook stealth mission. If any of the monkeys spot you, they'll throw you overboard and you'll start at the beginning. To make things worse, if they throw you overboard and you've got satchels and gunpowder, the gunpowder gets wet and is rendered useless, meaning you have to make your way back to the gunpowder again before continuing. And yes, this does fucking suck. Thanks for your input. But the platform is not going to blow itself up, so let's get after it. Walking to the beach, it's time to focus. Not really crook, but nobody noticed. Whatever you do, don't ask about my motives, but let's go see what monkeys think of explosives. Stepped off the boat, then I hopped up on the dock. Hold up, there's a monkey, so we gotta stop these apes from rotation like hands on a clock. And it's time to solid snake from the bottom to the top. Sneaking around and my heart is racing. There's so many monkeys that I was facing. But when I'm done, it's banana deflation. If they rebuild, they gon' need a donation. Almost caught, had to step on the brake. But I'm built better, I knew the path to take. How they not see me, these monkeys not awake. Building out here was Glove's biggest mistake. Sneaking on the platform. I ain't coming back for Sneaking on the platform I ain't coming back for I'm, I fucked up. I fucked up so hard. Here I go. <gasps> what? You're a beast. Grab the bags, I wasn't in a hurry. Don't want to brag, but I never even worry. Can't wait to detonate and then watch him scurry. Wish I stole that onyx so I could have made a fury. Can't slip, make sure to be slick. Gotta be quick, clicking on the right tick. The adrenaline pumping, goddamn, this is sick. Can't wait to get back and tell him I'm a sick. Sorry, Gluff, but how'd you not predict it? When I'm involved, there's nothing that's restricted. Didn't want to do this, but I think I'm addicted to bringing you pain as long as I inflict it. Never got caught from start to end six satchels down but it's time to ascend glove why'd you try this i cannot comprehend but you know i'm always glad to hand you an l again sneaking on the platform Flawless run. Flawless run, ladies and gentlemen. Not a single monkey caught me. That was so stressful. Oh, uh, there were some close calls, but we did not get caught once. We are gaming. You narrowly escape the explosions as you row away from the platform. You know, back in like 2003, they animated Elvarg flying around and destroying a ship with fireballs. Showed the fire erupting on the ship, killing a dude. It was cinematic. This time I placed C4 around a three-story construction platform, possibly simulating Gilinor's first atomic bomb, and we get this. Good work, team. Hey, Garcor, I destroyed the airships. Can I go home yet? We investigated the tunnels where you found Kruk. Oh, okay, so you guys do stuff, but like after I do most of it. There was some magical force stopping us from getting through. Oh, man, a magical force? Yeah, yeah, I've had that before. I, I hate when magical forces stop me from doing difficult and heroic work that I really want to do. Well, we're gonna head down to the dungeon again and check out this new area. The secret areas across these here monkey bars. Check this out. <laughs> G Fuel's top five moments of Monkey Madness 2. Number three, that. Thanks, G Fuel. I could not have made it across those monkey bars without your help. All right, let's see what all the hype is about. This place looks wacky with a hint of fucky. What the damn hell is that? Okay, this is just silly. Get the camcorder. There's a monkey riding a gorilla. Can we get mounts in this game already? I mean, this is like it. Like, we, this is a mount. The mechanics are here. Why do we not have mounts? Are we not progressive enough for that yet? Oh, yeah, I'm beating these things up, by the way. I'm corralling them in like a gorilla shepherd. Uh oh, look who it is. What's up, Gluff? <laughs> Fuck you. So, Gluff's been experimenting on animals because he's a piece of 
shit. And he's trying to make these gorillas take over everything ever. Typical Gluff behavior. He wants to infuse power from charged onyx gems. He's leaving me alone in here, so it's time to fuck around. Why do I feel like taking that thing out is gonna recreate a scene from Half-Life? Nobody can predict what's about to happen. Here goes nothing. Oh, I have to screw this whole operation up by breaking the onyx and then putting it back in that machine. Using your knowledge of crafting, you carefully reshape the onyx. <laughs> oh god, this thing is fucked then. Yeah, I'm just gonna put that right back there where I found it. So apparently the mutagen has been corrupted because of what I did. I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't even know what the context of corrupted means. But what I do know is that it is corrupted. Now I have to inform King Awoa guy of his failed plans. I'm just concerned that he's one of those leaders who insta-kills his people that fail him. Hey, so the the trolls are out, the ogres are out, the fleet of ships blew up, and also my secret weapon has been fake this whole time. I've never had a secret weapon. It was just a joke. You failed me for the last time. Oh god, he's about to start force choking me. Oh, okay, he's just firing me. Cancel my upcoming meetings. I need some time alone. Oh, well now I feel bad. Oh, well, guy, come on. We, we can still invade and kill everyone. Come on. I should I should leave. It would appear your mission on Ape Atoll is complete. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Who's shaking? Oh, it's Gluff. So no one animated a cockpit scene, but this is Gluff in the cockpit of the airship. Set our course for the Grand Tree. Let's end this once and for all. Okay, Gluff has just chosen the kamikaze path. I mean, I guess we gotta stop him. I don't really know what to do at this point. We don't have fighter jets to shoot him down before he gets there, so I don't really know what we're gonna do. King, Gluff has a fucking airplane. Like, he's gonna crash and explode everything. We gotta, we gotta go. I think you're overreacting. My troops can handle Gluff. Dude, everything I've ever tried to warn the king about, he has denied or been skeptical about, and then 10 minutes minutes later, I have been proven to be correct. Why are you like this? Neve is the most highly skilled warrior we have here. Get her assistance and defend the stronghold. <laughs> okay, King, no problem. Keep it up. Okay, Neve. I'm unable to leave my post unattended. Grow up. Let's go. Oh, well, here comes the airship. So the gorillas that Gluff was bringing along just attacked them in the cockpit. So they drifted off course and they crashed behind it. Some of the gorillas got out, so I've got to get some gear real quick and uh, take Neve to take care of this. Let's go, Neve. This is not a date, okay? This is strictly business. Tango spot. 12 o'clock. Oh, it's stuck behind uh, the mushrooms. Neve, do you want to like flank it or something? N never mind. I got it. Don't worry about it. Gorilla guys, where are you? Uh, oh God. Ow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, we will also be safe spotting this one. Now again, Neve, if you'd like to poke it from behind, find its weak spots or something, you've got a very big strong spear. All right, there's another one. I can't find a safe spot and I don't really care. So I'm just gonna do this. What did the king call her? The most highly skilled warrior we have here. And another one. Is Neve even following me at this point? Oh my God. Neve, you role playing as the slender man? What are you doing back there? I think we've dealt with enough of these. The troops can handle the rest. Neve, you, you don't have the best work ethic, do you? Now we've got to go investigate the crash. I'm hopping over the fence with Neve. Let's end this gluff montage. Okay, let me see. If I'm right next to the gorilla and Neve is right next to it. Seeing me and the gorilla fight, Neve, are you fucking kidding me? My god, this plane crashed. It was in the air and then it wasn't and they, now it's here. I have no idea what this cave is. I don't know if this is like always been here. I don't know if the gnomes like just knew about this underground area here, but we're here and uh, we've got things to take care of. Um, hello everybody. My name is Byrelease, and uh, you are sending them down. Here we go. Oh, so now Neve helps. Perfect. So I used to know the mechanics of these guys, but I completely forgot and did not bother looking it up. And there is a boulder that's about to follow me. They use all three attack styles. I'm pretty sure they switch as soon as they hit three zeros on you. Something like that. I have no idea. But then the big bad boys with the infinite prayer overheads, like this one here that safe spotted himself, they pray based on what you're attacking them with. And you're probably saying, well, they're praying range. Why would you not bring two attack styles? Well, you see, I did. My other attack style is called Neve. Since she wanted to fuck around so much outside, she gets to handle this one all by herself, since I took care of all of that by myself. We're even. Show them what you got, Neve. Yeah, I just went to the grocery store and back, and she is still going. There it goes. One down. Neve, get ready. There's another one for you. Let me set him up right here. Okay, Neve, start hitting it. Neve, I need you to, uh... The gorilla that's right next to you? Its ass is practically against your leg. She AFK, what's happening here? Okay, what if I brought the gorilla over here and then turn back? No, still AFK? Okay. Okay, I'll start fighting it. Look like I'm struggling, because I am actually struggling. Neve, please help. I'm gonna talk to her. By release, we have to stop Gluff. Right, yeah, what about this thing first, though? Is that fine if we if we do th this one first? Neve, I'm begging you, please help me. I am trying everything. I'm very desperate. Neve moved. I think she tried to help. I think. Let's see. Yes. Oh, Neve, you're so brave. Thank you. 
Let me change its prayer up for you. There we go. Good work. I'm gonna be distracting it over here by, by going AFK like you just were. And down it goes. I guess I'll just have to deal with you two meddling buffoons myself. More like meddling baboons. <laughs> Am I right? Oh, he didn't like that one. <laughs> Okay, Neve, of all times to take a fight, and she's dead. Okay, the almighty Neve, everyone. A true hero's death, a brave soul who stood outside of a cave for her entire career, only to get permadeathed during her first true battle. Yeah, I'm gonna go gear for this fight. This shit's gonna suck. So I'm just gonna let me from 2017 explain this fight to you, because it's honestly the best way of putting this. He has three phases, cuck one, cuck two, and good fucking luck three. That's about all you need to know. Let's go. Here we are, and there he is. What up, Glubby? You ready to get safe spotted for half your fucking health? So I'm gonna lure him out here a little so that he's stuck like a little baby. Here we go. This is actually the first time I've used my crystal bow. I don't know how the recharging thing works nowadays, but I know it's expensive as fuck, so I was just kind of saving it for the right moment. And here we are. Phase one is down, on to phase two. So I can still get hurt here, but I basically have to find the perfect distance that will let me hit him with long range just out of his stomp attack or whatever he does, and just do the same thing as last phase. Okay, went too far. How about here? How about here? What about here? Okay, yeah, we got it. And there's phase two. Now the fight actually starts. So I'm gonna do kind of the same thing here, except I've gotta continuously run back and forth since he's about to pull my dumb ass into him with a magic attack. There is a square in this little tunnel that's out of his range, so I gotta go in, shoot him, he's gonna pull me in. I need to click the square out of his range so he can't continuously pull me back over and over. I died in here like three times back in the day because I didn't understand anything about anything. So at this point, I'm kind of just hoping my monkfish can outlast his bullshit. All right, folks, this is it. I believe this is the correct square. Any farther in and I get yoinked. So let's start it up. Ow. This dude hits so hard. If I time it right, I get two shots every time he pulls me in, but there's still like a little panic mode chugging in the back of my brain that makes me just want to run back as fast as I can. Damn it, we're so close, but so is he. I am force feeding these monkfish to myself and I'm down at three cannonballs. It is all RNG from here. Come on, baby. I don't know how much HP he's got left. Uh, I didn't make it back in time. He's pulling me in again. Fuck it. I pronounced your name wrong for over a decade on purpose, and now everyone's gonna also pronounce it like that. Oh, that feels good. Man, last time I beat that guy, I went and got a quest cape for the first time. That just brought back so many memories, man. That was awesome. All right, well, let's uh, finish this off. Oh, King, guess who saved the world again? Where is Neve? <laughs> oh, don't worry. She's having a ball down there. She's dead. Her sacrifice will not be forgotten. Yeah, sure. Oh, a Woa guy wants to visit and make peace, huh? Thank you, human. He had been setting our kingdoms apart for far too long. What? Man, I was crook. You were devastated like 45 minutes ago when you found out you couldn't pillage the entire world with your monkey friends. We will be opening our gates to the outside world for the first time. So not even an hour ago, killing on sight was expected and now anyone can just walk in and come visit freely. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm sure everyone's on their way already. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been way too long since I've gotten to say the words. Quest complete. But we're not quite done yet. Uh, I'm gonna go get some free XP. It's Crux replacement, Duke. I'm gonna put 100k XP in a range because I don't like making ammo, so th thanks, guy. Still not done. Back at the crash site, there's a little something in a crate over here. There's this sweet little monkey hiding in the warm crate. <laughs> Look, we got a monkey. He's on my shoulders, man. One more thing.
Hey, it's time for you to contemplate once again getting a website with Squarespace at the end of one of my videos. Websites are hard to make because coding is hard. And if you like coding, you're miserable. Rich, but miserable. Well, the miserable coders did all the hard work for you because Squarespace has countless templates to choose from that you can use for your very own website. Sell stuff, blog about your feelings, connect with your audience through members only content, access your analytics that tells you what's going on, who's looking at your stuff, and who's foolishly buying your things. You'll have all that information instantly from wherever you are because this is the future. So get your dream domain and website. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash J1MMY to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video.